This is the Infiniton Smart Programmable Keyboard, and this is the Elgato Stream Deck. Both of them are nearly identical LCD programmable keyboards with 15 keys with 72 by 72 pixel screens on them. They both cost $150, but you should buy one of them over the other. Why is that? When I say these two devices are nearly identical, I mean it. Internally, they're both running the exact same screen. Both of these devices have nearly identical build quality, which is to say good, although the Elgato feels a little more professional. The Elgato is horizontal and the Infiniton is vertical, but that doesn't make a huge difference, even though the devices are slanted and so they don't sit on their sides very well. The Elgato comes with a stand, but that stand is pretty horrible. If you want to use a stand, I strongly recommend replacing it. So given that both of these devices are basically identical, running the same third-party components on the inside, what makes them so different? The answer is the software. Both of these devices allow you to map keys and text and macros onto the keys. Both of them allow you to launch apps and websites with the keys. And both of them allow you to have folders in the keys so you can have more space than the 15 by 15 on the keyboard allows. But after that point, that's where it ends. The first problem, which is by far the smallest, is the folders. The Infiniton only allows you to nest folders one layer deep, so you can't put as many buttons in one configuration. The Elgato, as far as I can tell, does not have a limit of the number of folders you can nest. The second problem is what you can do with the device. The Infiniton is limited to the actions we have listed here. Any more complicated custom actions you have to program yourself. The Elgato Stream Deck has a very large library of custom items. Many of these actions are designed to help streamers use applications such as OBS, Streamlabs, and XSplit, or to interact with Twitch or YouTube. Additionally, the Stream Deck now has an SDK. And with this SDK, there are more and more actions coming. And if you're a programmer, you can build your own fairly complicated custom actions. It doesn't seem like the makers of the Infiniton have any interest in adding any more custom features to their software, and why should they? They're making the display that goes in both the Infiniton and the Stream Deck. But even with all that, you might say, I'm not a streamer, I don't care about the streamer features, and I can program in the rest. So I'll take the Infiniton, it doesn't matter to me. Well, you're already a little crazy at this point, but there's one killer problem. The Stream Deck can change its profile based on what program you're running. This means that if you're working with the Infiniton, if you want to change the set of keys, you must open the app and manually open the file which contains your new profile. But if you're working with the Stream Deck, you can have several profiles loaded. When you open OBS, you can open your OBS keys automatically. When you open Chrome, you can open your Chrome keys automatically. And you can still have a default profile for every different app. Given that they're both the same price, and given that the Stream Deck has so many features the Infiniton doesn't have, there's no reason to get the Infiniton. Get the Stream Deck. You'll be happier.